an asteroid is traveling directly toward Earth. Scientists first believed it would miss us, but they were gravely mistaken. And now, it's headed right at our enormous blue marble. What takes place after that? Here's what might occur in this hypothetical situation. Now, this seems like a fun hypothetical, but an asteroid coming for Earth, it's no laughing matter. That might occur. Apophis, also known as Asteroid 99942, was predicted by scientists to strike Earth in 2029. Since its discovery in 2004, scientists have been keeping a careful eye on Apophis. According to analysis, there was a 2.7% possibility that the asteroid will strike Earth at one time. Indeed, it is frightening. But as of right now, updated estimates indicate that the asteroid will pass Earth at a speed of 30,000 kilometers, 18,641 miles. This asteroid will be very near, given that the Moon is 380,000 kilometers, 23,6121 me, away. But at least it won't be hitting us. Naturally, computations can be off. Let's assume that they are in this instance. And Apophis is approaching Earth far faster than expected. This year, the asteroid will strike Earth. All right, let's examine the matter at hand. Apophis is 340 meters, 1,115 feet in diameter. That is higher than the Eiffel Tower for comparison. Is it, however, the worst asteroid Earth has ever encountered? Fortunately for us, it's far away. It was assumed that the Chicxulub asteroid, which wiped off the dinosaurs, was between 10 and 15 kilometers, 6.2 and 9.3 miles, wide. We are now addressing Chicxulub's younger sibling. What does that entail for us then? Will this influence cause the extinction of humans? I'll talk more about that later. Let's first examine whether we have a possibility of preventing this asteroid. I apologize for it. I'm getting another call from a spammer. All the time. Do you two receive them? As in, so much so that you don't even bother picking up your phone? Fortunately, Aura, the video's sponsor, can assist you with that. Unbeknownst to you, data brokers profit handsomely from selling spammers and robocallers your personal information, all in hopes of acquiring more info from you, like where you live. When it comes to sending opt-out requests to data brokers that are disclosing your information, Aura works for you. Additionally, they search for online dangers that are invisible to the human eye. It is really simple to assemble. There's no need for any apps, VPNs, or similar technology. You get everything with a single login for a single fee. You could allow others to use your information for their own gain online, alright? So we've already identified the asteroid. That would be the first step. Apophis's size and speed are known to us to be approximately 30 kilometers per second, 18 miles per second. It's all about the defense strategies we have available now. There are now a couple under investigation. As an example, consider the kinetic impactor. This entails launching a spacecraft into the asteroid, all in an attempt to alter its trajectory and speed. This approach has been successfully tested by NASA, so that is an alternative. What is referred regarded as a gravity tractor would come next. Beside the asteroid would fly a huge spacecraft, the asteroid's trajectory would gradually alter due to its gravitational attraction over time. The next option on the list is laser ablation. Yes, special lasers might be used to vaporize areas of the asteroid's surface. This might change the asteroid's size, impact, and path, but it wouldn't destroy it. Finally, and most certainly not least, there is the last nuclear option. Yes, you are correct. We could always use nuclear weapons as a last resort. In addition, given the asteroid's enormous size and the short amount of time before it strikes, this may be your only choice. However, take your time pressing that red button. The drawbacks of nuking an asteroid can be severe. It might cause the asteroid to fragment by splitting it apart. Subsequently, numerous additional minor asteroids and meteors would be approaching Earth, intensifying the impact's destructive force. Furthermore, these wouldn't be your typical asteroids. They would be radioactive due to the nuclear weapon. This would imply that major portions of the planet would be hit by radiation levels only encountered during nuclear conflict in addition to asteroids and meteors. Which is the better choice in this case? It's difficult to choose, so allow me to consider this for a while. But, alas, it is now too late. The Apophis will arrive at any moment as we took too long to make our decision. Get ready. The reason you wouldn't be able to see the impact of the asteroid is that it crashed in the middle of the Pacific Ocean. 
Given that the majority of the Earth's surface is made of water, this is the most likely location for an asteroid to land. You would thus undoubtedly notice the influence even if you were unable to see it. The impact of the asteroid on Earth would be comparable to thousands of nuclear bombs going off, but with far less radioactivity. It would create a crater the size of a kilometer at the ocean's bottom. And far more disastrous would be what follows. Giant tsunamis would rage over the Earth as a result of the enormous hit. The impact of Apophis would be felt by communities along the Pacific coast many hours after the asteroid comes down. At airliner speed, the tsunamis would traverse the Pacific Ocean. Places like California, Peru, and Chile in North and South America would be confronted with enormous seas. Waves taller than 30 meters, 100 feet, would probably be produced by the asteroid's energy. This is one of the most destructive tsunamis ever recorded, caused by waves this size. Over 230,000 people were killed by a tsunami that struck Southeast Asia in 2004 and had waves as high as 30 meters, 100 feet. However, this would be a whole worldwide calamity as opposed to waves like these only hitting a few nations. Not alone will the Americas endure these tsunamis, but so would Japan, Australia, and the Philippines. The impact would destroy all of these locations. These kinds of tsunamis would probably wipe off millions of lives. That being said, what would happen if an asteroid struck land instead of the ocean? The impact crater would be far more significant to start. As far as we are aware, the size of an asteroid's impact crater can range from 10 to 20 times that of the asteroid itself. Moreover, there is no longer any water to cushion the blow. Thus, the crater may have a diameter of up to 7 kilometers, 4.3 miles, and a depth of more than 1 kilometer, 0.6 miles. Depending on its landing location, this crater may be large enough to completely destroy cities. A tremendous shockwave that stretches for hundreds of kilometers would be produced by the first hit. This might severely harm infrastructure and demolish entire buildings. Tons of debris and dust would be sent into the atmosphere. Things could grow so terrible as to have an effect on winter. This would result from a dust cloud momentarily obstructing the sun which would kill off crops and other vegetation and increase the death toll. This kind of behavior has the potential to cause an entire environmental catastrophe and last for weeks or months. Depending on where the asteroid crashes, millions of people could die during and after this entire catastrophe. It is our only hope that a collision of this kind with an asteroid would occur as far away from mankind as feasible. The good news is that, Unlike the dinosaurs, Apophis would not bring about a catastrophic extinction if it were to impact in any way. Even though there would be many losses and a very traumatic tragedy, humanity as a whole will survive. Now that we've made it through that, what comes next? How does humanity's future appear to be? That sounds like a tale for another time though. The size of the asteroid matters significantly. If it's relatively small, it might burn up an Earth's atmosphere, creating a dazzling meteor shower. However, a larger asteroid could pose a more significant threat, potentially causing devastating effects on a regional or global scale. The good news is that scientists worldwide actively monitor the skies for near-Earth objects. Organizations like NASA have detection programs to identify and track asteroids that might pose a threat. Early detection is key to developing strategies for deflection or mitigation. Scientists have proposed various methods to deflect an incoming asteroid. This includes using kinetic impactors, nuclear deflection, or even deploying a spacecraft to alter the asteroid's trajectory. While these concepts are in the realm of theoretical discussion, they highlight our growing capability to protect Earth. Now, let's explore the potential consequences of an asteroid impact. Depending on its size, the impact could lead to widespread destruction, tsunamis, and even climate changes. It's essential to acknowledge the potential impact on life, ecosystems, and infrastructure. Governments and space agencies worldwide collaborate on emergency preparedness plans in the unlikely event of an asteroid impact. From evacuation strategies to developing resilient infrastructure, these measures are in place to minimize the potential impact on human life. Maintaining public awareness is crucial. Understanding the risks and the steps being taken to mitigate them empowers us to collectively address potential threats. Education and public engagement play a significant role in building a resilient society. While the likelihood of a catastrophic asteroid impact in 2024 is extremely low, it's a reminder of the importance of ongoing efforts to monitor, 
detect, and prepare for potential cosmic hazards. Science and technology are our allies in this endeavor, and as we continue exploring the cosmos, we also work towards safeguarding our home planet. If you found this exploration interesting, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Stay curious, stay informed, and until next time, keep looking up.